Praise Jesus, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? Ah, uh, wow. Truly, this world is not our home. We are just uh, passing through. I just want to to encourage somebody out there. There are some things that you will see in this life that will break you. There are some moments you will go through and these moments will crush you. They will they'll really break you to the point you wonder is is God still around? Does God still exist? Um, many of the ministers you see preaching, reaching out, encouraging people, praying for people, some of them are going through situations. Their life is happening. Some of them have serious attacks. And mostly, you know, normally the devil att attacks the people you love, attacks the people you, 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 you depend on. And that's why even families are being attacked. There is a way you desired to live life. And there is a way you had planned to live your life. Like, it's every man's desire to have a good life. Um, like me, I always say, at my age, I, I would have desired to be married and, you know, just having a family around. But that's not my case. Um, did I try a relationship? Yes, I, I loved. I wanted to, you know, I'm a loving guy, you know. I wanted to love one woman and you know be faithful and serve with her uh, but that's not my case now and sometimes when I think about it you just you just wonder what really happened Nini liendelea by the way and keep on praising God no matter the situation sometimes you might face something that wants to break you and break your spirit. But there is a profound character in the Bible, uh, Job. Eh? The Bible says, after all the sad and bad messages and all the bad news, you know, he received that day, he turned around and said, you are still God. I will worship you. He worshiped the Lord. And he said, naked I came and naked I'll go. I don't know who I'm talking to. Maybe you are going through, you know, a family member has a serious disease and, the, you know, the doctors have given you a sad report. You are the people I want to pray with tonight. Maybe you are having things or situation or addictions that you cannot even explain. You are the people I want to pray with tonight. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I believe in Jesus Christ, the healer. God is a healer. God is a God of restoration. God loves us. He hears us. He loves to minister to us. We are his children. He is our father. Don't lose hope. Don't listen to the devil. Ignore the devil. Ignore the voices of the devil. Yes. Don't let nothing break you. And as I'm telling you this, I've had a very tough week. But I will not allow it to break me. I will preach. In fact, I'm doing every, I'm preaching every a sermon a day, which is not my, my character. Today I've ministered to many people. I've ministered to Masai. Some women I've met have prayed for people. The more the devil is pushing me, the more I declare the goodness of God. That should be your attitude. I'm not telling you that my life is perfect. In fact, when I look around, it's all, nothing is happening. It's like nothing is happening. If I check my, my account, 
Nothing. If I check myself, what is every <laughs> devil is a liar. Wow. Siku juu anta laugh. Nilikuwa nimeanza hii session na uzuri. Nikijua leo ni machozi. Nothing. But I know there is a God who is watching me and who is interested and who is chastening, discipline and who is by my side. I know there are angels watching me. I know God is for me. I know Isaiah 54:17 no weapon fashion against me shall prosper. I tell that to you believe no weapon fashion against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises in condemnation any tongue that is rising to condemn you it's defeated in Jesus name. Okay? Maybe you look around, you see poverty. You look around, you see there is no hope. There is nothing to show materially. Don't stop. Keep on moving. If you are praying, keep on praying. You may not know what God is doing. Maybe you've lost something. You wanted your mother to attend your graduation, your father to be there when you are getting married. Don't lose hope. Don't be bitter with God. Maybe there is something that you are trusting God for. Maybe you've lost the job that you loved. Don't lose your praise. Jesus is still Lord. God has not moved. A young man said, I saw a video, a young man said, was that where was God when my father was going, was dying? Then the friend replied, he was the same place he is when Jesus was being crucified. Let nothing shake your faith to God. He is still God. Let no offense get into your heart. Not every, every person will have compassion like you. Sometimes you have a big heart and you wonder, why are people too mean? Why are people not walking with me an extra mile? And sometimes you may think, if it was me in this situation, if I had the abilities and the capability to assist somebody, I would have walked with him or her three miles. I remember last, a few weekends I was somewhere in Tala and we built a very good relationship with a shoeshiner. And when I was going after the salmon, the young man was friendly and he was asking me how was the salmon, yeah, how was it, yeah. And I was very encouraged and I liked this old man and, you know, we vibed. Eh? And I love people, if you know me. Uh, I just removed my belt and I told him, I don't have anything. But keep this belt next time because soon I'll be invited to Tala. I'll bring you something. I just love that the old man who was humble to me and an Ibrashki had a story. And it doesn't mean I had a good and I saw what it happened. I saw what that did to that young. I saw the mshipi too. I blessed him with my belt. Nikaona tu smile ambaya metoa kwa uso yake. And I felt happy. Huh? When now that you are going through some stuff, may you purpose to bless another life, to touch a life. Jichoche, wacha kujieka chini. As long as you are not dead, God is not done with you. There is more for you to do. There is more for you to do. As long as you are breathing, rise up, son. Rise up, my daughter. Rise up, sis. Rise up, bro. Rise up, daddy. Rise up, mommy. Yeah? Devil is a liar. Devil is a liar. Devil is a liar. Many people are afflicted with a lot of things. We are going through things. Let our attitude 
be like that of Job. And sometimes as a Christian, when you are going through things, people may say, you are not serving your God. Umefanya dambi hapa na pale. Wewe ukijua kwa roho yako hakuna dambi umefanya. Ukijua kwa roho yako kwa Mungu wako hakuna kitu umefanya. Waambie, mimi najua Mungu wangu sijamkosea. <coughs> na majaribu kunipata haimaanishi hatuko pamoja. Yesu anasema, in this world you will face many trouble, but msisahau nitakuwa na nini. It's a guarantee. There are some things we will see that will try to steal our joy. But Christ is with us. Be encouraged, my sister. Be encouraged, my brother. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. You understand? There is nothing wrong with you. Si dhambi umefanya. Majaribu kukukumba saa zingine si kurogwa. Si kila wakati shida ikikukumba watu wenyu wanakuendea. Sa zingine hata labda ndio mmeomba sana. Not every time shida ikikupata unafikiria tu umerogwa. Sa zingine Mungu anakubali. Majaribu, mtaeka verse kwa book of Isaiah there is a place God anasema and he allowed test of our life. ndio tu, 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 tuweze ku, kupita mtiani I don't know what you are going through I don't know what has pushed you to the wall You really wanted this relationship to work You really loved this man You really loved this woman You really loved this job But things are not going according to your will <coughs> And sometimes au na hata reason ya kuacha hii relationship inaisha tu you really wanted your grandfather to live long and your grandmother but sivyo ndivyo kuko encourage yourself the most important thing as a believer and if you are a non believer get born again if you are a believer, make sure you preach the word of God everywhere you go. So that when people die, uta semanga siku ati siku waambia. Uwe waambie. And as also as a believer, when you fall, rise up. Wacha kwa hapo ukijihukumu na kusaidia shetani kujihukumu. Umeanguka sawa, hakuna dhambi kubwa mbele ya Mungu. Simama, sema mimi ni mwana wa Mungu. Yesu ulinikupia uli dhambi zangu kwa sababu ni dhambi nyekundu. Lakini umeniokoa. Dhambi zangu ulijua ni dhambi nyekundu zaidi baba yangu. Na asante kuniokoa. Don't let people judge you. Hey, umeawe, you are not a man of God. Don't listen to people. You have a personal relationship with God. Si waokoke pia watembee waishi wokovu. We fanya kulingana na kazi ya Mungu tembea amka tembea ambia sameana na Mungu kwa siri baba nimekosa nipe nguvu kesho niishi kwa utakatifu yeah. Let me pray for some of you who are going through situation Father I thank you for this wonderful session Remember the brother and the sister who is watching this Deliver him or her from affliction. Remember that young man who is full of bitterness. Remember that man who has suicidal thoughts and depressing thoughts. Father, deliver them. Remember that one who is going through sickness. Father, by your touch, may they, get be, de may they be delivered in Jesus' name. Father, remember that one who, has who wants to achieve dream, his dreams and what not. These are your children. I give them to you, O oh God. May your spirit minister to them. May your spirit encourage them. May your spirit bless them. Father, may they be blessed in Jesus' name. May they be blessed in Jesus' name. I decree and declare 
you are free and healed. If you believe in this prayer and you connect with this prayer, I serve a miracle working God, a God who hears us, na anatupenda. Mungu anayetusikiza na anatujali. Siku ya leo pokea uponyaji wako. Redeem yourself and start believing in God. When you do that, anza kusoma Biblia, anza kuomba kila siku, anza kumtafuta Mungu. You don't need anybody to come in between and teach you. You have the Bible, read and see God. It's a Whoever who believes, if you believe, tafuta Biblia, anza kusoma, anza kusoma neno. Na Mungu atakutendea. Si lazima watumishi tukue hapo, wacha tukafanye kazi nyingine kuhubiri huko nje. Wewe umeamini? Anza pole pole. Soma two chapters a day, one chapter a day. Commit yourself and you'll see what God will do to you. God bless you. I love you so much. Uh, share this when you are blessed, bless another soul. Sawa sawa. Wao wow, jalani wasi kila shida ni shetani. Zingine Mungu anaruhusu kwa reason zake ambazo watujui. Sawa sawa. Yes, God bless you.